Proverbs 24, 21 through 30. Bible study lesson will come from Revelations 3, verses 10 through 12. December the 19th, Minister Freeman will be speaking. The scripture for the week will be Proverbs 24, 31 through 34. Bible study lesson will come from Revelations 3, 13 through 15. There will be a village goal sponsored by the Sunday School and the church. Today, December the 19th, next Sunday, will be the last day for the food drive. December the 26th, Minister Robert Travis will be speaking. Scripture for the week, Proverbs 25, 1 through 10. No Bible study on December the 29th. New Year's Eve service will be December the 31st. We start at 7 p.m. And Evangelist Melanie Moss will be speaking on that Friday.
of hope. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice of him who cried out. And the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I'm a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. You may see the presence of the Lord. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you. For your goodness, your kindness, your tender mercy, and all your bountiful and wondrous blessings you have stored up for me. And all of us who count you. And I say to those who have heard of us, not to myself, where my words are not. Draw and hear us again. I need to be with you. Speak to me and speak through me. Send fresh words, fresh minds from on high. Speak, God. For thy servant will hear. Heaven be sensitive to your spirit, and your spirit alone, God, in a little one who opens the ears of the hearers, the hearts of the receivers, that your word will fall on good and fertile ground and produce fruit in days to come. Now I pray, God, you keep me on obedience, sensitive to you and your spirit. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart, my words, my thoughts, be your words, your thoughts, O oh Lord, my strength. And my Redeemer, these blessings I ask in Jesus' name. I pray and I do thank you. Amen. Amen. Look at these three verses again. And one cried to another and said, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. And the posts of the door were shaken by the voice by the voice of and the house was filled with smoke. And I said, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I'm a man of unclean lips. I did there well in the midst of people of unclean lips. For my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. For the time you said again, I want to talk to the subject of Smoke, smoke, smoke caused me to see me. Smoke caused me to see me. Yeah. Grab a little verse more. I got to do a verse more before I go to the rest of this. Verse 1 says, In the year King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. First of all, part of what it's worth, he's not dead. He's in a vision. He's in a vision, or you would say a dream. Modern terms are dream. He's in a dream. So he's seen in the year King Uzziah died. He sees the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up. And the train of his robes filled. The temple. Let's deal with this for a moment. The Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, the train of his robes, filled the temple. Now, watch this. This train, what is it? I'm glad you asked me. Why is it kept? It's a board. It's a lower part or hem of a garment. So the lower part of his robes covered the temple. Not the top part. Because I'm watching this. The top part is not even wide. But the bottom part Cover the temple. 
They cried, holy, 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 the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Don't turn there, but in, in, in Numbers 21, just trust me, I'm going to go there myself. I'll read to you. And 14 and 21 says this, but truly, as I live, <laughs> the whole earth is filled with the glory of the Lord. Moses is talking back. Yeah. Moses said, as I live, yeah. as you look at me right now, as I live, oh Jesus, the earth shall be filled with the glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. The glory of the Lord. Yeah. Oh, my, my, my. Going back to, back to Isaiah 3. He said, the whole earth is full of his glory. Yeah. Put it up like this. This is, this is how important it is with Genesis. From, I, from 2 Chronicles 5, 13 and 5, 13 and 14. This is the reason. Indeed, I cannot I can, I, indeed I came to pass, or it came to pass, or it came to pass. <laughs> when the trumpets and the singers were as one, to make one sound, not a different sound, but one sound, to be heard in the, oh, in the praising and the thanksgiving of the Lord. In the presence of the Lord. In praising and thanksgiving, the Lord, and when they lift up their voices with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praise the Lord, saying, I told you last week, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever, that the house, the house of the Lord was filled with the cloud. Going back to 14, I talked about last week. Listen to this. So that the priest could not continue ministering because the cloud. For the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. That's why it is important. The devil does not want us to be useless. And these, these seraphims were in one accord. They were useless. And, and, and verse 4, here it is, verse 4, verse 4, verse 4. They were useless. They were saying, holy, 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 to one another. And he responded back to one another. Holy, holy. They're one of mine, one spirit, one accord. Unisys. And here's what happens when you're one accord. I just told you in 2 Chronicles 5, 13 and 14, what happened, the, the priest could not minister because the glory cloud filled the house. They, could, they had to stop ministering. The, the anointing was so strong, the, pre, the, the presence of the Lord was so strong, they couldn't even continue ministering. Watch verse 4. In their unisons, in saying, holy, 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 responding back to each other, holy, holy, holy. Watch verse 4. And the post of the door. The post of the door. The door frame. The door frame. In Ulysses, I'm trying to get somebody to understand this. In the Ulysses, the door post. Okay. See that frame right there? That whole frame started to shake. From, all, from, from away from the wall. Because of their unity, because of their one accord, the doorpost, the Bible says, is in the book. Am I in Bible country? Yes. The Bible says the door was shaken yes. by their voice. By their voice of him who cried out. And the house was filled with smoke. Yes. That word smoke in the text means his presence. Feel the house. His presence. Not your presence. Not my presence. But the Lord's presence. Feel the house. The useless shook the door. Or shook the threshold. The useless. And the one mind in the spirit called and allowed the smoke to fill the house. Mm. My title is 
The smoke caused me to see me. The presence of God called me to see me. Y'all hear what I'm saying? I'm almost done. The presence of the Lord caused me to see me. Now listen to me. This smoke did not cause me to see somebody else. It literally caused me to see me. The smoke, the anointing, the presence that should call the glory, fill the house, and cause me to see me. It's in verse 5. It's in verse 5. Listen to this. And hear me clearly. So I say, keep on doing that. But then keep in mind, he's in a vision. He's in a vision, but he's still talking to himself. Woo, Lord. I say, woe is me. The word woe in the text means woe is me. He didn't say it's real. He didn't say it's vain. He said, woe is me. That's it, girl. You want to change pages. It's not my mama, not my dad, not my sister, my brother. It's me, oh Lord. That's standing in the need of prayer. Yeah. 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 Woo! Uh -huh. The anointing of present God is allowed me to see me. Yeah. He's allowed me to point at me. Yeah. Not anybody else, but point at me. It's me. Yeah. That's why it's important that we have the presence of the Lord to show us us. Mm. Mm. He brings confession and conviction. He brings confession and 
done. Ooh, he's done fixing. He's convicted now by the presence of God. And then after he confesses who he is, who he's been around, he said, now I see the Lord, the King, the Lord of hosts. I see him. Uh, after I have saw, what's it? After I have saw me, after he has shown me, me, now I see him. I see the King. Woo, Jesus. The King, the Lord of hosts. What's it? God Almighty, I see him. Mm. Let's go further. Verse 6. I'll call verse 6 clean up time. Verse 5 is confession time and conviction time. But verse 6 <laughs> is clean up time. It's clean up time. Watch how God cleans Isaiah up. Watch. Then one of the seraphim. Celestial being flew to me. He came to me. He literally came to me. Watch this. And having in his hand live coals. He flew, which he had in his hand. He had taken off the altar. With the tongs. The tongs is an altar. Tool. It's designed, the tongues are designed for the altar use only. He goes to the altar and gets the coals off the altar, comes toward Isaiah, <laughs> off the altar, the cleaning place. I'll tell y'all something, tell myself something to do. Don't you run from the altar. Amen. You better run to the altar. Amen. The altar is a cleanup place. Don't run from it, but run to it. Watch verse 7. And I'm almost done. And he touched my mouth. Wait a minute. Going back to verse 5. I'm a man of unclean lips. Let me show y'all something. And if he's going to clean my mouth up, he means he's going to mess up for me to do. Watch. Seven, he touched my mouth with it and said, Behold, see, this has touched your lips. Oh, I love this. I love this. This is, has touched your lips. Your iniquity wow. is taken away. Amen. Clean up time. All right. But also, the yeah. limits. Your iniquities are taken away. And your sin is purged. You are being reconciled to God. You are being pardoned. You are, you have, you are being pardoned. Yes, you have you are messed up. And you have confessed you were messed up. You confessed that you were with some people who were messed up. But now because you want to change, oh, there it is right there. Because you want to change, I'm taking something off the altar to touch your unclean lips. Because you're going to start speaking for me. So I have called you. I have reconciled you. Get, get the New Living Translation for this one, please. This is in this. I want to say something to somebody. From the New Living Translation, okay? Oh, thank you. He touched my lips with it and says, see, this cold has touched your lips. This is now your guilt is removed. I want to hang my hand here just one moment. You have to forgive yourself first. Amen. Hear me. I, I saw something on TV. I think last night or the night before. Uh, where this young person, this young person, young lady, she said, I just can't forgive myself. But I'm going to tell somebody, you forgive yourself first. Yeah. And as you forgive yourself, God will forgive you. Yeah. Because in this, he says, now your guilt is removed. Because you have got and confessed now the tongues, uh, the coals uh, off the altar with the tongues, 
and faithfulness, you are no longer that person anymore. Your guilt has been removed from you. It has been taken from you. And your sins are forgiven. Ooh. Watch. I'm close to verse 8. I just want to talk to you. Watch that time. Check. I love verse 8.
some of the churches in that were just destroyed. Yes, sir. Only thing was left was the foundation. Yes. People have lost their loved ones yes. from the tornado. Yes. And I was looking at it and thinking about this morning, and the Lord was laying my heart, send something to those, those yes. people yes. from the church. Yes. You're going to send something to them yes. or find out where, how I can do it, where I can do it, uh, to send them yes. as an outreach. Yes, sir. To bless them. And I believe we do that God will bless the church. Pray for um, us, the McKinney family, as we have an upcoming hearing for uh, justice for TJ. The McKinney family? Yes. Okay. And what else? Just justice for him. We've okay. been postponed, postponed, postponed. So. Okay. Um, pray for my friend Amber Hall down in Florida. Um, there was a tornado that hit down there in Florida, and they can't locate him. They don't know where he is. Um, so just pray for that family. They lost two family members uh, from that tornado, but they just can't find him.
the Lord is already working, but uh, just continue on praying for him to get reunited with his youngest daughter. Me too. Yes. This way, your children. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Bless God. 
Uh, first hand, Sister Junior Johnson. Touch yeah. all right. Yeah. With your mighty hand, no healing. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God. Bless that family, all of them. Whatever happened around them, you got. You bless and you touch God. By your mighty hand and your mighty power. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God. I pray you bless the Walker family. And love God. Touch. Name by name and one by one. God, touch to the pain. You made her body up. The doctors don't know what's going on. But you know all about her lungs, God. You created the lungs, God. But I pray, God, that you will bless her to inhale and exhale without being exhausted. Move by your mighty hand and move by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Touch to the sister. We thank you that she has gained 20 pounds. We pray you continue to touch her body. Continue to strengthen her body, God. By your mighty hand and your mighty power. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. God, bless the whole family. Touch and bless that family, God. In a mighty and abundant way. In the name of Jesus. Oh, God, I thank you, God. God, I pray, God, you bless DJ. Bless the final covering, God. Bless the final covering, God, that you might grow spiritually, God. Move by your mighty hand. Move by your mighty power. In the name of Jesus. Touch the body of the bed. Touch the body of your mighty hand over here, God. Oh, God, touch the top of his head to the sole of the feet, God. We speak God's strength to her body. In the name of Jesus. We pray, God, you bless me, the brother in the back who has some prayer for his children. Bless his two sons. Bless his daughter. Touch their lives. Touch their hearts, God. Touch them in the body of the mother way, God. In the name of Jesus. Move by your mighty hand and your mighty power, God. Oh, God, bless all of us, sick, God. Name by name and one by one. We speak. We decree. We declare. Healing and help be upon our bodies. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And these we thank you for your glory. In the name we pray. And we thank you. Amen. Not just your family, 
but intercede for somebody else besides your family. Come on, somebody. Because when we start to intercede for each other, we will see God's manifestation. We will see his healing. We will see his deliverance. We will see all these things manifest in the house. When we start interceding for each other. I hope you, I hope you wrote down those names. I hope you wrote down those names that were been broken for us. Go back to Facebook. So you got them on Facebook. Thank you, girl. Go back on Facebook. The names are on Facebook. The church Facebook page. And intercede for these persons. Let me tell you something. You will find yourself getting stricken by you interceding for somebody else. Y'all hear me? You will find yourself being strengthened and being blessed by interceding for somebody else. Hey, man. All you this I get every week, I keep them. I keep them. They in my daily prayers. Because I want to see people be blessed by God. For God is a blessing. And I want to see God's people be blessed. Amen. God bless you. God keep you. This is our prayer. May you have a great rest of the day. May you have all that blessing. Blessed Friday. May you have a marvelous, terrific, gorgeous week. Blessing to you and your family. We're going to dismiss you. Most gracious and all wise Father, we thank you. Again, I can't thank you. We can't thank you enough. For you are El Shaddai. You are more than enough. We thank you, God. And God, I pray in the name of Jesus. As we leave your house, for our various ways, get in every vehicle, mind every mechanical problem. Dispatch your angels around the night with your people. Cover them with the blood. We have prayed for travel mercies. We pray you just bless your people mighty and mightily. Open doors for life. Present you, Father, for the presence of the only one, God, our Savior, with glory and majesty and dominion power, both now and forever. And the people of God say, Amen. 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 Amen.